Hello everyone, Ryan Ponce here with Compass, and today I'm talking about the downtown San Diego housing market, or the condo market uh, more specifically, and uh, this is currently the update for May, uh, but all the sales are, or all the stats are based on April's numbers, because obviously May, uh, May is not out yet. Um, for the first time ever, downtown San Diego's average price point broke a million dollars. Uh, the average price last month was just over a million thirty thousand. That was the average sales price in downtown San Diego. Uh, I believe that was out of ninety six sales, something like that. So a good amount of data, and you know that's that's a huge increase in the average sales price. Uh, the average sales price in one year, just year over year, is up thirty two percent in downtown San Diego. Uh, again. I mentioned this last uh, market update. I'm not necessarily saying that your that that prices went up 32%. I'm saying that the average sales price went up 32%. There's been a lot of activity in the luxury market. Um, the cra another crazy stat though is that um, just month to month, um, which last month was a record-breaking month as far as the average sales price goes, the average sales price went up 7.3% in one month. Um, and so that's a huge jump. There's been a lot of activity in the uh, luxury market. Condos with views are going extremely fast. Um, so, and one thing that we're also seeing too is the average sales price continues to go up. So the average sales, I mean, price per square foot, sorry. Average sales price per square foot continues to go up. Um, it hit 836 last month. Um, that's a big number for downtown, and uh, it's it's a record again. Um, you know, it's been a record-breaking month every month uh, for the last few months in downtown, and uh, that trend continues. Um, inventory remains really, really low still. Um, we are seeing a gradual increase in the amount of inventory, but there's been a good amount of activity as well. So um, a lot of that, a lot of those new listings are getting soaked up. Um, the one thing I want to talk about is. Uh, I expected buyer demand to start slowing, as did most people when interest rates shot, uh, when interest rates shot up. They shot up about 2% in a couple of months, and that's a huge increase um, in interest rates. And I kind of expected buyer demand to dwindle and maybe slow down a little bit. Not necessarily like completely go away, but I think like I expected a lot of the um, demand to kind of slow down, people to get less competitive, and it's done the opposite. But one thing that we're seeing a lot of um, is we're seeing a lot of cash offers in downtown. Um, I just listed a property for a million one thousand, and we had five offers. Four of the five offers were cash offers, um, and so the property ended up going quite a bit over list price uh, to a cash buyer. Um, the one person financing um, did come in competitively, but just wasn't able to compete with the cash buyer that ended up winning. Um, the other thing that we're seeing a lot of is people downsizing from houses in the suburbs and they're moving to downtown. So they're looking for a simpler lifestyle or maybe they want something single level with a view, something more centrally located. So we're seeing a lot of movement from the suburbs to downtown, which is the opposite of when COVID first hit. We saw a lot of movement from downtown to the suburbs, people wanting yards and everything. And the last thing we're seeing, we're seeing a lot of 1031 exchanges. This is not just in downtown San Diego's market, but across the board, um, we're seeing a lot of 1031 exchange money coming in. Um, and in downtown specifically, I don't know if that's because, um, you know, rents have been going up at crazy, crazy speeds. But then on top of that, um, I don't know if people are just investing in downtown because they like the future um, projections of downtown San Diego and what it could be. Um, you know, you have Horton Plaza's campus. Uh, that The campus at Horton Plaza is a huge project. It's 700,000 square feet of office space geared towards tech and about 300,000 square foot of retail space. Uh, we have some other smaller office buildings going in. And then we have the huge one, um, IQHQ's RAD development. That stands for Research and Development, um, Research and Development District. Uh, that's a huge project, and it's bringing in about 1.7 million square foot of uh, retail office lab. It's it's a lot of the office space is geared towards lab office space. It's a huge biotech project, and that's going on along the water near Seaport Village. So um, I think that has a lot to do with the money that's flowing into downtown San Diego. Again, downtown San Diego is in high demand right now. Properties are selling extremely fast. But, um, you know, when is that going to kind of diminish? I will say 
the suburbs are definitely showing signs of slowing down. So um, they're not necessarily stall. They're not like really slow. They're just, they're, they're pulling back a little bit. Instead of getting 10 or 15 offers, uh, we're typically seeing like three or four offers um, and people are still competitive, but it's not as competitive. And we're seeing this all around San Diego County right now. So um, a little bit of a pullback, but again, it's still extremely competitive in San Diego and especially location-based. If you're like along the coast, um, or in downtown, uh, properties are selling really well. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the update. If you have any questions, just reach out to me. Um, all of the stats for downtown San Diego are below. If you live in a different area, I'm able to pull the stats very, very easily and I can send those over to you. So just let me know and I'd be happy to help. Um, my, my number is 619-228-6790. You can see my information at the bottom of this blog. If you're seeing this on YouTube, there's a link to the actual market update post where all the information is. Have a good day.